If you don't have a keyboard or other MIDI controller, you can still use the computer keyboard for the same things. You can use the computer keyboard as a keyboard to play or drum pads. And for this, you have to make sure that that icon, keyboard icon is on because then you have the computer MIDI keyboard turned on. Um, by default, it's actually on. And then you can use the center row of letters from A to L to play the white keys on the keyboard. So that's from C3 to D4 by default. And the upper row, you can use the keys W, E, T, Y, U and O on an English keyboard for the black keys. Okay, so here we have this already armed. So let me just play something here. You already hear that. But you can also switch octaves with the keys Z to lower the octave or X to raise it. So when I click it, now it's, you can see at the bottom row C2 to D3. And now it's set back to C3 to D4. We could go up higher as well. Yeah, there's even sound still there. And um, the keys C and V adjust the incoming node velocity in intervals of 20. By default, it's set to 100. So now it's set to 120. We so press V, C back to 100. If I go all the way up, you see 120, then it goes to 127, because 127 is the maximum value available. And then you can go back down as well. 100 is generally quite all right. And now we can simply play. And um, another thing that you can do is you can use it as well for mapping. And in this case, it's not called MIDI mapping, but key mapping. And you can use the key button to turn it on. And then everything is orange that can be mapped. Or you can use Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows to turn it on and off. So for example, here we can again choose, let's say, this clip, and I'm going to use the key one. You see key one, track seven, slot number three. And also continuous parameters can be mapped. So for example, this volume again, you can just map it to two. And here again, you have the values available, so you could adjust those however you like. But when I leave the mapping mode and just press 2, you see it only switches between min and max. And if I press 1, this clip is launched and playback is started. One last thing, if the keys A to L or the ones in the top row that you can use for playing sounds, then uh, when, when they're mapped, they cannot be used for playing anymore, so no sound is heard. Unless the computer MIDI keyboard is turned off, so if you turn that off and you map, say, A, then it would work. But otherwise, for example, the numbers are quite good to use for mapping. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.